first thing you need to do to remove your front shroud is you need to take out the four top Phillips head screws. So once you remove those, you can grab your stubby. You will need a smaller screwdriver to get to the bottom screws. And then get those out and you will be able to remove your front shroud. Once your front shroud is removed, then you're gonna remove this 10 millimeter nut and the Allen key bolt. So it's got a four millimeter Allen key head and a 10 millimeter nut right on the end. There's also a sleeve right in here that we'll have to move. So we're gonna grab either one of your bigger Allen keys from your Allen key set or a punch if you have a punch and remove your sleeve. Once your sleeve is removed, we're gonna back this off right there, that little nut right there. We're gonna undo our top piece of our gas strut, enough that we can get our pin, our lever back in on top of our pin. So you want it going all the way through, and then you wanna start tightening. But it does have to be right on the channel there, so you do have to line that up with the pin. Once that is done, it should be sticking out about that much. So not, not all the way through, almost all the way through. And we'll just keep tightening until we got it about halfway through the threads. And there's enough spring in there where it's still going to make the gas strut work and it's not going to fly on, uh, off on us. So we'll do one more crank there to get it nice and tight. Then we're going to tighten this nut back up and actually tight it with, tighten it with a wrench. Then we're good to line up our gas strut with our tiller. So this might be a bit of a challenge here. Sometimes these holes and these holes don't line up very well. The trick is to move the tiller to where the gas strut is and that helps you get everything back through. So we'll go ahead and put our, get our everything lined up first. Look from the side. Looks like I need to come a little tad this way. And then we we'll go ahead and put our sleeve back in. Sometimes just adjust the tiller a bit and it helps to wiggle it and hit it through. Once you've got that through, go ahead and put our screw back. I'm just going to do it a tad here to make sure it is going to adjust on us. And it is. So that is perfect and it's not coming loose on us, which is what we want. So we'll go ahead and take our 4mm Allen key, our 10mm wrench, and we'll go ahead and tighten this back up. The maximum tightness. Perfect. Got that nice and tight. And your lever is fixed, and it is that a simple. And then you'll go ahead, move this into the forward position and you'll have lots of room to put those six screws back on and back in the unit. And that is it, and that's how you readjust your, your tiller once that uh, lever comes loose, if it does ever.